Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life RP. Now I'm at the Mafia's mansion and it looks like they are just getting right back into it. They've been working on a couple of armories as you can see. I think this is like the public Mafia one and then Alistair I believe has his own personal one over here. Which is pretty cool. Hey Alistair, how's it going? I didn't know you would be in here. I'm just kind of showing off your, you know, your new renovations. Well, the renovations, yes. Uh, so things are coming along quite well. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks yes. like it. You've got your minigun up there. You've got your, your sniper, your grenade launcher in here. You've got it all. I don't suppose you know anything about where the Vipers are now, do you? I wish. Yeah. I me wish too. I did. Still trying to figure out what in God's name this is. It looks like it hurt. Oh, also, we've been getting a lot of new viewers to the series recently. So if you are new, welcome. I hope you're having a good time. But also, I noticed it seems like over 60% of you aren't subscribed. So if you are having a good time here and you're liking the content, please go ahead and drop a sub. It really does help me out a lot. Anyway, today is going to be a very, very good day, my friends. You see, I have over $10 million just sitting there. And if you remember a couple of episodes ago, my helicopter was destroyed. I think you can see where this is going. We're going helicopter shopping, but I don't want just any old helicopter. No, 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 no. I want the best that money can buy. And this is where the mafia comes in. This is why I'm here today. You see, they have connections to some rogue military agents and they can get their hands on some high end military supplies, as you can see by their armory. Now you might be thinking this place is pretty stocked already, but Alistair is actually buying even more stuff from these military guys today because we don't actually know where the Vipers have gone. Since the last episode, we've heard nothing from them. But like I was just saying to Alistair, I do expect them to retaliate. So the Mafia wants to be completely armed and ready if and when that happens. But I thought I'd just tag along and take a look at the chopper selection that these military guys have. You ready? I am ready. Is it time? It's time. Okay, lead the way. Let's go. Okay, so it looks like the military have arrived. Oh, wow. They're there on boats. He is. How are you? Good evening, chaps. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Who's this guy? Don't worry about it. He's with me. All right. Well, we're still going to need to take all of your weapons just as a precaution. So oh, you will just hand them over. Uh, okay. Right. Thank you very much. If you will follow us, come to the boats. These guys could so easily rob us. That would be indeed a Life RP series moment. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are they taking us? This is this is exciting. I can't believe the connections Alistair has. Straight up military. Okay. I think we might be arriving. Um oh we are. What is this place, dude? This is like a secret military hideout or something? Oh. Wow. People will just follow me. Why have you never taken me here before, Alistair? There are some things that you don't need to know. Well, I guess I'll let you guys do your business then. When you're done, let me know, and uh, I can do mine. Dude, they've got like, so they've got humvees yeah, and stuff. This is like a little here? military base. This is so cool. Kind of come to a thought on that. I guess they've picked a good location for it really as well. For that? Oh, that I gotta do. <laughs> that is a lot of why is there so many weapons? Oh my goodness. Okay. I'll secure it. Well, if everything is called for, then. Oh, we're done here. Well, they're done. Are you forgetting something, Alistair? the helicopter. Oh, well, if you're eyeing it up, you can buy it. Can this man buy the helicopter? The heli? Well, let's go have a look then. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If you want to have a look around, you can take a look at which one you're most interested in. Yeah, I don't really know which I am most interested in. Um, definitely something that shoots stuff, though. I think that is a requirement now. This one does, to be fair. To be fair, I do like it, but it just doesn't look as cool as these ones over here. You know what, my friend? I think it might have to be one of these bad boys over here. You got rockets as well? I'm guessing it comes with all that, right? Yeah, it has mini guns and rockets. So this is the RAH 66. How does it? Five million, son? Five mil? That is that is a very good deal, to be fair. All right, that's the last of it. Pleasure no problem, doing business. Yeah, just give him his stuff back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I almost Didn't forgot think about we that. would be taking this from you. All right, boys. Well, thank you ever so much. Hopefully, I'll uh, see you again sometime. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is now my helicopter. See you later. I would give the Mafia a lift back, but there's too many of them, and I only have one extra seat. So, um, yeah, it sucks to be them right now, but <laughs> this is now my helicopter. I have miniguns. I have rockets. I never thought I'd actually own one of these, but here I am. 
normal people can't really get their hands on a chopper like this. You have to be part of the military. So to get one is really rare in the civilian world. It's not what you know, my friends. It's who you know. Now let's get this back safe and secure. Okay, I have definitely found a downside to this chopper, and that is that it is incredibly slow. It has taken me so long to get back over here, but we finally made it. Now I just need to nail the landing. Is that a plane going vertically? I think it is. Oh, uh, okay, it's, it's doing somersaults. All right, let me see if I can nail this landing. I'm very scared. I don't know if my helipad is big enough. I hope I don't damage the cars that are in the way. This is a big boy of a chopper. Ooh. Ooh, that was... Yeah, I've had uh, I've had a lot better landings. <laughs> okay, well, we are indeed home sweet home, but we're not staying here for long because on the way over here, Justin actually told me that he needs to meet me because he's got some pretty unfortunate information for me. Apparently, somebody has been snitching on the quirky turkey and he's been running his mouth about what goes on in the VIP section. So I think we should probably do something about that, eh? Just gonna get my trusty sniper here and some ammo to go with it. There we go. How many mags can I get out of this? I think I can do them all, actually. Indeed, I can. There we go. Locked and loaded. Oh, I can't forget my pistol as well. I don't really have many details, but he did say he can meet me in Montreal right now to tell me about it real quick. So I'm going to head over there as fast as I can and get all this info. Now, the question is, what car do I want to take today? You know what? Time and time again, I keep coming back to the GT. I just love it. Okay, let's get over to Montre as fast as possible. Oh, there is a, a PD helicopter coming into Montre. And a police car going out of it. Okay, something's happening here. Um, now, he said the hotel car park. There he is. Hey, welcome. Hey, welcome. Justin. So, yeah, sorry, I got uh, here as fast as I could. Ah, oh, no worries. Since I was in the air, I thought let me just call you over. So, during the uh, during the auction, there was a there was a bit of snitching going on, my guy. Yeah, you said what what sort of stuff has been happening? I don't really know. Look, I don't I don't really know his name. I just know his nickname, and that's just Husky. Okay, okay. All right. Apparently, he works as a lumberjack. Um, from what I remember, he got a mustache, black hair. And oddly enough, he has a ton of cop friends. Oh, really? Okay. I don't know if that rings any bells with you. Uh, it doesn't, but if he's got cop friends, then yeah, I guess I should be careful. Yeah, he's most likely mm. snitching to them, right? This is like vital information. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. No worries, mate. No worries. Let me know when it's open because I'll pop by. Oh, I'll keep you posted, my friend. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> well, hopefully, like I said, I'll get this uh, snitching thing sorted and then we can open it. <laughs> Excellent. I am dying for another one of those uh, pizzas. Oh, yes, especially made indeed. <laughs> All right, Justin. Thank you so much. We're leaving at the same time. This is one of those awkward moments where you say bye, but you carry on going the same way. Okay, so I guess that's a little bit more information. The guy is a lumberjack. He goes by the name of Husky, and we have a description as well. I think the best course of action, if he's a lumberjack, he's going to be cutting trees. And most lumberjacks make their money, obviously, in the lumberjack area. So I'm going to head over there now and see if I can spot this guy. And believe me, if I do, snitching is the last thing he's going to want to do after this. Okay, this is the lumberjack area. Now, what I'm going to do is park my car up because it's quite loud and I don't want any unnecessary attention on me. Um, I don't really know the best way to go around this. I'm hoping that the guy's here. I do see a chopped tree. There's definitely going to be people here. I can't see anyone. That's, that's the problem. Oh, has that guy got a mustache? No, he hasn't. Is that guy? No, that's a beard. I need a good view of the whole place. I think there's, yeah, there's a watchtower up here. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a, oh dear, there's a guy right there, of course there is. Is this our guy? Does he have a mustache? We won't know until he turns around. Okay, there we go. Come on, fella, move on. Oh, no mustache. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get in this watchtower and hopefully I'll have a good view of the whole place now. Is anyone in here? There is not. Okay, brilliant stuff. Okay, we have one down there as well. Another one. One over there. We have 
one all the way over there. It's going to be hard to see. Okay, we have one there. I can't quite see the guy's face, though. And two people. <gasps> Hold on a minute. That guy, that is a mustache, right? And black hair. I'm pretty sure that might be our guy right there. Oh, dude. I would love to just pull the trigger right now, but I need to know who he snitched to. So I guess I'm just going to have to, like, watch him and then try to get him alone where I can get the information out of him. Looks like this is going to be my home for the day. Okay, it looks like our little friend is actually getting back to work, cutting some trees, earning his bread. I look away for a second and I have lost him. Uh, okay, I found him. I found him. It looks like, honestly, they're getting the last few trees. He's not leaving, is he? No, he's not. Okay. But yeah, it's getting dark, so they should definitely be finishing soon. Okay, it does indeed look like a lot of them are leaving now. I think that's our guy right there. But I think he's about to leave as well. So I am going to get down here. Let's see if I can follow him. What, what was that car? A white something or other? Yeah, okay, they're leaving now. Okay, I need to get to my car fast, 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 fast. Okay, there they go. I think he's got a friend with him, which will make it very hard to get him alone. I might have to uh, get his friend in the crossfire. I don't really want to do that, but I guess sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Okay, uh, they've just pulled into... Oh, they've stopped. Oh, they're going into the pub, into the bar. Okay, right. That might be an issue. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pretend I'm getting gas. Okay, there's our guy, I believe. I really don't know how I'm going to get him when he's surrounded by everyone in the city as well. Oh, dude, I have to be careful. There's vipers up there. I am not feeling like getting into a gunfight right now, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, I think when he leaves is the time I'm going to have to get him. And I'm going to have to get his friend as well, unfortunately. Probably going to move a little closer, see if I can... Oh, that's a cop. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, and that's my guy. Wait, oh, you've got to be kidding me. What's going on, officer? Go and, uh, take a seat. Feel free to uh, help yourself to the meals. That's then right. So the whole reason I uh, wanted to call you down here, you know, that thing that See I was this talking guy's about saying. earlier, um, the you know, bar of Montreal. Yeah. yeah. I can't Have believe it. Have you had it. a uh, chance to take, check it out yet or no? Uh, I haven't checked it out yet, but I plan to check it out first thing in the morning. Wait, first thing in the okay, morning? Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Um, oh, dude, I can't believe he's literally just snitched to a cop <laughs> right here in front of my eyes. Oh, I Never really, did. really want to get this guy, but I have to go fast. If this cop's coming first thing in the morning, I have so much stuff in the quirky turkey I need to move. Okay, I'm just going to get out of here right now and get to the quirky turkey and try to get all this stuff moved. Okay, I am speeding into Montre because I need to get all of this stuff out of the quirky turkey as fast as humanly possible. Okay. So everything down here is completely legal. I don't need to remove anything. It's just the upstairs I need to worry about. Now, I've got a lot of stuff stored in here, as you can see, and most of it is contraband weapons, which aren't exactly legal. I also kept a couple of golden guns for myself from the last auction. But right now, I need to load all of this up and get it out of here. So I'll be taking all of this. Okay, there we go. Now, these lockers just contain money, so I can leave all that here. Of course, it's not illegal to have that. Okay, these cases are empty. Everything is looking pretty clear. Now, I should definitely clear this area up because it is very obvious that we do some auctions up here. I'll just be taking all this down. Okay, now it just looks like the normal upstairs of a bar. I think we might be good here. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't have any special items for sale. Absolutely not. I'm going to leave this sign though because that's going to be kind of my excuse for having an upstairs. All right, let's get this stuff completely out of here. Off we go. So I decided the best place to keep all these weapons for now has to be the hangar. I mean, this place is super secure. I keep a lot of high-valued stuff here. And now that we don't have to keep Alistair's ring anymore, we have a lot more space. So I'm just going to start putting these weapons into weapon cases because I do have a few empty ones here. And the rest, I guess I'll have to put in these boxes right here. Okay, that's everything offloaded and it should be nice and secure here. And now hopefully there's nothing to worry about at the Quirky Turkey. And you know what? It'll be daytime pretty quickly, actually. Which means the trees will have regrown and people will be going back to work. So I think it's time we went and paid that lumberjack area another visit. Okay, I need my revenge before we do anything else. Now it is the morning, of course. People are showing up for work. This guy should be here as well. Is that him? I need to get closer. Oh, hold on a minute. That's our guy. Okay, is there anyone else around him? Don't see any trees falling. I think we might be okay. I need eyes on both of them. 
Get your hands in the air. Hands in the oh. air. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. You recognize me? <sighs> Been doing a little snitching, have you? Listen, man. Listen, listen. Okay, listen to me. I'm okay, listening. I, 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 just, I get paid. Okay, I just get paid to be telling the cops info just so they can just get promoted. Listen, man, I, I promise I'll, I'll cut off the, all the deals. Please, man, just don't, don't kill me. Just don't, please, don't kill me. You you made a very, please, very, please. very big mistake here, my friend. Telling cops please, about what sir, I sir, do? I How much are they paying please, you? Go on, please. I'm just curious. It, it's a lot. Um, oh, yeah? Enough for you to still be doing your lumberjack work, right? Like 100 grand every time I talk. 100 grand. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a nice amount of money, is that? Here's what's gonna happen, okay? You're not gonna have my name in your mouth anymore from this point on, okay? Because I will course, find out. I, I, sir, I promise I, I won't. All right, well, you better run along then, boy. Yes, yeah, yes, sir. Can't have any loose ends. Okay, I need to get out of here before anyone finds us bodies. Well, you know what they say, snitches get stitches. Let's get out of here. All right, now all that's... Oh. Okay. The cops are already here? Are you kidding? Well. Hello there. No, hey, it? officer. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, I have a warrant to search the premises. Oh, you can have a look around if you want, officer. Come on in. What's uh, what's the basis of this warrant? Because, uh, you know, this is just a pub. I don't know why it's been searched. Uh, just a little tip that you might be doing uh, some illegal things. <laughs> Illegal things? Like what? This is just just alcohol and food, my friend. Auctions. Auctions? I the mean, the top secret VIP lounge it sounds a little bit weird to most people, doesn't it? I mean, I guess, but this is a, a membership club, you know? People, they pay to be a VIP, and then if they are, then upstairs they get access to this whole new area where you can uh, enjoy your drinks in peace. We have a stage so people can perform music, stuff like that, you know? This is just the, the office, I guess, is where I conduct all the, um, I keep all the money in here and, and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. It's a little weird that uh, your booze and auction area has got rifle storages, right? I mean, I guess, but honestly, I just like the aesthetic, you know? It's just, uh, it's better than your bog-standard crate, that's for sure. And briefcases, what's in there? That's just pure money, my friend. You can search any of these lockers. The only thing that's in them is money, so. It's just where I keep it all. Nice safe space no one can get to. Yeah, I think you've got some misinformation there, officer. There's no, uh, there's no illegal business happening. I can assure you that. All right, well, seems like, uh, everything all checks out. All right, well, yeah, no, thanks so, for coming by, so, officer. Uh, I mean, I still appreciate you trying to keep the peace and whatnot, but if there's any more issues, please just be in touch. All right, well, uh, sorry for wasting your time. Nah, nah, it's all good, man. All right. <laughs> oh! Oh! Are those vipers? They broke the windows. They broke the windows. Uh, okay. I guess I'll try to go out the back. Ooh. Um, dude, I'm trapped up here. I could maybe take a few of them out, but oh, it's too risky. They're in the downstairs right now. I'm just trapped in the upstairs. Okay, let me see what I can do. Alistair, are you there? Are you around? Uh, I'm at the moment. I'm I might need you to clear your schedule. The uh, the quirky turkey is under heavy fire, and I need to pick up out of here. Wait, who's, the, who's there? Listen, I don't know how much time I've got. You need to get over here, okay? Thank you. I'm taking out a few of them, but really, there's too many here. I may have gonna break in this back door soon. They're all like inside below me. Come on, Alistair, where are you? Yeah, they're trying to break in this door, dude. It's not gonna last much longer. Is that a helicopter? It is. Wait, is he expecting me to... Oh, he's not expecting me to jump. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Okay, let's go, let's go. Dude, there is so many of them down there. I tell you what, it's a good job this chopper's bulletproof, eh? Thank you so much for getting me out of the situation yet again. Oh my goodness. That was, you're an actual lifesaver. 
first time, and I have a feeling it won't be the last. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Was that an explosion? Did I just hear an explosion? They're gonna completely destroy the quirky turkey. They've already put out all the windows, all the doors, and everything. I don't have a choice, man. I was just minding my business. Oh, it's good to be here. Mm -hmm. What I still don't get is why are they going for you? Yeah, I, I, that is really odd. I don't know why they target my bar out of everything. Maybe they have seen that out of every major event that has happened that involves them, you seem to be the key picture. Well, oh yeah, I'll, picture I, picture. I'm definitely, you know, as much as an enemy to them as you are now, but I don't know, man, it's, it's weird. Well, it's obvious they can't get to me. They're going for you. Yeah, to be fair, that's very true. I think if they did try and attack this place, it'd take more than what they did back there, so. Well, no, what about your mansion? It's not going to be safe anymore, is it? Uh, that's the thing. I don't know if they actually know about it and, like, where I live and stuff. So, I might be clear for the time being. I think I'm probably going to go and head back to the Quirky Turkey and just see what the damage kind of is. Are you sure you want to do that? I mean, they might still be around. Do you want me to send someone with you, or...? I should be able to handle it. I mean, if I run into any trouble, you're the first person I'll call. Alright then, that seems fair. No, you do take care of yourself. I don't want to have to get in another call. Alright, I'll, I'll do my best. Thanks so much once again. No problem. Yeah, I'm going to let some time pass and then I'm going to head back to the Quirky Turkey to see what sort of damage they've actually done here. Okay, Montre seems very, very quiet right now. Just need to check out what sort of damage has been done. I think it's clear. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. I can't imagine they'd be waiting to see if I came back though, right? Have they... They shot the tires off of my car. Really? I mean, I almost knew they were going to retaliate for last episode, but I didn't think they'd target my bar. I guess we should look at the damage then. Yeah, this is not good. Look at the mess of this place. I guess the one good thing is they can't have really taken anything because I did move it out of the bar right before they came. But I, uh... You know why we did this? Bring us Alistair to minus 814, minus 767. You have one week. They want me to bring Alistair right to them. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, it's the same up here as well. Have they broken through? Yeah. Oh, they took the lockers that had money in them. I mean, it wasn't all my money, but it was still a decent amount in there. Oh, to be honest, I think that's the least of my worries right now. They want me to bring Alistair right to them. I kind of don't want to know what would happen if I didn't do this. So it looks like the clock is ticking and we have a week to come up with a plan. And it looks like the Quirky Turkey is going to be out of action for quite a while now, which is super annoying. But yeah, I'm going to have to end the episode here, guys. I really, really wasn't expecting to end it like this, but here we are. So yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I can't really say that I did, but if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like. And also, do not forget to get subscribed if you like these videos and you want to see more of them. It really does go a long way. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.